Thank you very much. Further debate? The Minister responsible for Seniors Affairs. Thank you, Chair. Kamusta? Mabuhai. I'm also pleased to rise in this legislature to speak to this bill to recognize June as Philippine Heritage Month here in Ontario. On behalf of the large and thriving Filipino community of Mississauga, I want to quite simply say two words, really three words, it's about time. I've had the privilege of representing and interacting with the Filipino community and I have come away with nothing but admiration. A community that has perhaps one of the strongest work ethics, but they also know how to celebrate, how to party. I, I heard uh, the member from Toronto Danforth. Toronto Danforth say the Filipino people like to talk, but I think they also love to dance. They're just amazing dancers, you know. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as an MPP, it's my privilege to attend any number of cultural community events in my riding. But I have to say the Filipino events are among the most fun because the music's great and everybody dances, you know. I'm the only person sometimes who's not dancing. And, uh, and I do try and learn, but you know, they, they don't just dance, they have steps and it's, it's uh, yeah, it's like everybody goes to dancing school and music school. Right. Everybody sings and everybody dances. And that is such a pleasure, you know, such a pleasure to see a community that knows how to enjoy itself while, and of course, work very hard. Uh, hardworking, industrious, successful, with a fierce devotion to family, community, and church. The Filipino community has helped make Canada a better place and has helped make my own city, Mississauga, a better place. To understand how central the Filipino community is to Mississauga, consider this. When the famous seafood city, we all know seafood city, when they came to Canada, guess which city they picked to open their store? Well, of course, Mississauga. Now, I know about Jolly Bee. I know they started in Scarborough, but I also know they're now in Mississauga. So uh, it's, it's great that uh, the Filipino community is so vibrant in Mississauga. Uh, I can say that uh, I love attending the annual Filipi Fiesta Filipina in Mississauga. And I just wanted to say very quickly that it was back in 1898, June 12, 1898 to be precise, that the Philippines got its independence from Spain. This year, Philippines will mark 120 years of independence. And it's always struck me, as somebody who's from Asia myself, that there are very few nations in Asia that can say they've been independent for 120 years. So bravo to that. So nothing would be fitting, Mr. Speaker, more fitting than to make sure that we pass this bill immediately so that June 2018 can be officially celebrated as Philippine Heritage Month in time for the 120th celebration of Philippines independence. All I want to say is, let's do it. Hina Hayan Makakua Nito Tapos. Salamat po.